good day guys and welcome back again to yahoo boys update well in today's video and some of our videos going forward we are going to be reminiscing on some of the men that terrorized nigeria this video series are being made to advise the youth on the negative implications of robbery negative implications of cultism and some of the social vices that can end up maiming your life well in today's episode we are going to be talking about none other than lawrence anene we are going to be talking about his wife his girlfriend how he was caught and his son that currently resides in the united states of america if you are new to our channel kindly subscribe and turn your notification bell icon so guys lawrence anene was the biggest terrorist to ever live in the 1980s he was into armed robbery he was into kidnapping and he was into the killing of innocent citizens in benin city lawrence anene hails from a do state lawrence anini was barely 19 years old when he engaged in highway robbery operations when he turned 20 years old lawrence anini slept with one of his girlfriends and this resulted in the birth of a male child by name osai anini that currently resides in the united states of america it was very hard for the nigerian police to catch lawrence anini given the fact that he has a lot of syndicates that are inspectors in the police commission making it hard for the good police officers to actually catch him in a given location and arrest him one of the striking facts about lawrence anene is that although he is the leader of the kidnap group that terrorized benin city in the 1980s he wasn't the one that was primarily in charge of executing and shooting people the one in charge of doing that is none other than late michael osumbo michael osumbo has a short temperament he's a stammerer and he's known for killing virtually 95 percent of their victims so when lawrence anini was sentenced to death by firing squad one of his last statements was that his offense was exaggerated because many accredited all those people that were killed by michael osumbo as though they were killed by lawrence anini Lawrence Anini lived a luxurious lifestyle, partying, frolicking with all manner of girls, and this was what made his girlfriend, his one and only legit girlfriend, to betray him. The girlfriend betrayed Lawrence Anini, and when the police accosted them in their location, Lawrence Anini was shot in the leg. The leg was amputated days later, and upon several trials in the law court, Lawrence Anini was found guilty, but he didn't want to go down alone. He told the police on how Monday Usumbo was actively involved in giving him intels and also killing some of their victims. So Lawrence Anene was killed in Lagos Bar Beach in the open and several persons were there to witness his execution by a firing squad. This video is made to encourage all of our youth out there, robbery is never an option killing is never an option defrauding people of their money is never an option lawrence anini had it all mm. well he thought he had it all until the long arm of the law caught up with him everyone that is doing anything that is illegitimate that is illegit should understand that it's just a matter of time and the long arm of the law is going to catch up with you